Welcome to today's video and we're going to start off with a new snap-on tool that I just bought from Tommy. It's super cool and let me show you. I'm going to show it to Chris. He's going to be so jealous. You see this? I got this from Tommy today. It's from Snap-on. He charged me a hundred bucks. You don't really hate me, do you, man? I mean, <laughs> why did you give it to me here? Come on. You took it off me. Oh, oh my god. It's Dude, that's got some range, I though. I thought this was a gun, like an actual. Like, it looks like one, one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Dude, this thing shoots far, though. It, it gets, does. It's hitting the wall. That's pretty good. Man. Natural shooter. I believed you for a second. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know when Snap On was selling these, but this is freaking cool. I hope they give me one of these for free with my next Snap On purchase because, yeah, that's baller. So, enough fun and mucking around for today. Let me show you what my plans are with the Miata. I am planning to get all of this installed today. We are looking at the Mazda Speed brake upgrade for a 1990 Mazda Miata. Now, I don't know if you can tell this, but these are some big boy brakes for this car. This is the front, those are the rear, and this is the rotor. The biggest thing, I guess, when it comes down, because like when, I don't think we're going up in piston size. I mean, the, it may be like a much bigger piston itself, but... Um, the main thing is the rotor diameter and size that changes. So if we grab this and I put this side by side with the wheel over here, you're gonna notice that there's a pretty big difference. Look how tiny those little rotors are in there compared to this huge thing. And uh, once again, if we just look at the calipers themselves, you can really tell that these are a much bigger caliper. You can definitely tell that the piston itself and the casting is way bigger too. So. I'm really looking forward to feeling these because the brakes right now are literally super sketchy. That's the caliper in there. And then this is this big boy. So the brakes are literally, like I just said, the sketchiest thing on this car. In fact, it's super common on these Miatas that the calipers sometimes seize up in the rear. And I'm pretty sure that this one's seized open and not even working. So with the power that this car's making, obviously we need to look at brake upgrades. If, if there's no point in going forward faster making more power to push the car kinetically like energy wise further forward or backwards if you don't have the power and the upgrades then to stop the car quicker as well so i'm sure you guys get the gist of it but when you're modifying a car you need to be smart if your car already has adequate brakes for more power that's great like skylines and things like that but definitely when it comes to base models and things like this, we need to upgrade. So we're putting this on, but before we get started into the mechanics and switching some stuff out, we need to talk about today's sponsor, Dafsky. Dafsky is an online store that sells the sickest air fresheners for your ride. In fact, I think I'm gonna add this one to the Miata this week because last week we added this really cool cat and uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my supply's getting a bit low. Some of the boys kinda, kinda rated them, especially these are, uh, these anime ones here. The guys kind of went a bit crazy, aka Marcus just wanted girls in his car. But that aside, these are great. They smell amazing. They last long. And I think my favorite thing, as I tell you guys, every time we get a sponsor from Dafsky, is that I love that they're made by car enthusiasts for car enthusiasts. So you know that actually what you're getting is awesome. And bam, just like that, you now have a fully sick Japanese JDM themed air freshener in your car. And what, I think what's awesome about this is it's not just a sticker that people look at, but it serves a second purpose as well of making your car smell fresh and awesome. And Dafsky has so many different, uh, I guess, flavors or scents. I think the word scent on their website and a huge range. What I have here is absolutely nothing compared to what they have on their store. So definitely go check it out. I know for a fact that there's a whole new range coming. I'm really excited to see what they're gonna come out. Hopefully some more cool anime ones. But for now guys, I do wanna add, make sure you support the companies that support me because I would not be able to do the things that I do with cars and stuff like that if it wasn't for them. So go check out dapsky.com and get yourself some sick air fresheners for your car. They ship worldwide. And once again, thank you Dapsky for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for uh, supporting me and what I do and the companies that support me as well. Check out the link in the description. Once again, dapsigear.com. Let's get on with the video. Yeah. 
guys just want to see we've disassembled the brakes and I want to show you the big difference here old new you can really see here when I hold that over there just how much of a diameter increase you're getting from these brakes look at that huge and then look at the caliper this thing is tiny in comparison to this one so yeah definitely worth it if you can Mazda speed brake upgrades are the bees and knees on these things. The only thing you need to take into account, so obviously this is a much bigger rotor, so the dust shields on these are gonna have to go, or you can get the ones off the Mazda Speed. Now in my case, I'm just gonna take them off because, I mean, who really needs dust shields anyways? Right guys, let's get to it. Just finished this side and look how much bigger that rotor and caliper is sitting in that wheel. It looks so good. Compared to what we previously had in there, that is awesome and it fills out the wheel space quite nicely. It's, it's kind of crazy to think that like I've literally gone from this tiny thing to that big thing. So I'm pretty hyped. These, this car is literally gonna feel entirely different. Just finished the brake upgrade on the rear on the left hand side and actually at the same time while I had the camera down I did a quick diff oil change um, and this is what you need to do after you weld a diff because you're always going to get like especially if you do it in the casing you're going to get some splatter in there and after a bit of driving you change the oil and you'll see there see all those little pieces of metal that's just like splatter and stuff like that that's all come loose now so now that we drained that out I put some more fresh oil in there and it's all good. So now I'm gonna move on to the front. And the front, um, we need to also change the bearings and the hubs. So I'm gonna smash those out real quick, set up a time lapse, jam out to some more music. Let's get this done. I just got finished with the brakes, but before I can bleed them and pack up and clean, I have to go save Chris. Um, I'm gonna need the keys. <laughs> Thanks, Marcus. I also need so this. <laughs> Is it all the way out there? Oh boy. Uh, Chris is stuck on the side of the road with uh, no gas, so <laughs> I'm gonna go get E85 and save him. You know, I was having a good old time, just chilling, hanging out, trying to get my car finished and Rodnick strikes again. Let's get his E85 for him. Well, Ruddy just called me and said, don't worry about coming. Someone apparently had E85, he was leaving the track and they were able to help him out. So he's now heading back to the shop and I'm stuck in this terrible weather. But I am still worried about Ruddy because I know his wiper motor and wipers are not hooked up and set up on the roadster. So he's probably having a terrible time driving home right now. Anyways, let's get back to the shop, finish up the brakes. And then uh, I'd love to test them out, so I'm gonna try adjusting the clutch and we'll see how we go. It's the next morning and we got my uh, assistant here, Marcus Parks. What is your uh, task today? I think your brakes are a little spongy. They are a little spongy. We need to bleed them. So he's gonna be in here manning the pedal and the hydro because we need to pump the rears out, get all that air out of the system, and then we need to do the front. It's pretty straightforward. I'm sure you've all seen people bleed brakes before, so I'm not gonna bore you. Let's get this done. You guys may have seen this red Miata in the background, and uh, this is Brett's new car. How did you get this man? 
I traded the BMW for it. Wait, so you got rid of the BMW, the good old E46 for this thing? Yeah, unfortunately. What do you mean, unfortunately? This first, is a Miata. First night I had this, it left me stranded at work. <laughs> Is that why there's uh, the windshield smash like this? Did you punch that? Maybe. Maybe? Out of frustration? Yeah, no. Jeez. I got it like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got it like that. <laughs> I was going to say, man, I don't know how you did that. I've tried punching a windshield before. It did not go down too well. So uh, you're doing some work on it right now. You had to replace the cam angle sensor because that was faulty, which is why you got stranded. Um, and then now he's redoing all the timing because there's timing covers missing and stuff on it. But it's a 1.8. NA Miata and I think what I love about this is he's like swapped in a bunch of parts from like the NB in here for the interior as well as it has the Mazda Speed 6 speed in there um, 200 bucks bro. I'll swap a 5 speed for you for your 6 speed <laughs> um, So anyways that aside is actually really really clean that dash looks so weird in there though Anyways, I'm just not used to seeing that I guess um, But yeah really clean I think you're gonna love it, man, especially in the next couple days when this thing's running good and healthy again. I'm sure uh, I'm sure you'll fall in love with it. But then also, like, I mean, just being out of squad goals is pretty sick as well, so. You even got the wing on this? Yeah. Jeez. Why, why are you talking to me? What? Ask me to send a text for you. What? Shout it from the rooftop? What? Oh uh, man, this Apple Watch. So I just finished bleeding the brakes and this pedal, feels crazy i've never felt a pedal like this in a miata before this feels nuts even in chris's roadster which has the brembo six pot in the front and stuff it didn't feel as good as this but i think that's just because he doesn't have like a proportioning valve and stuff like that but this feels really good i can't wait to take this for a drive if only if only my clutch worked <laughs> I tried adjusting it and uh, it just kept slipping. So we're gonna leave that till the new clutch arrives early next week. Um, but for now, the brakes are done and I think I'm gonna wrap up today's video here. So there we go, new brakes installed on the Miata, super easy to do. And if ever you're looking to make your Miata stop fast and you don't wanna break the bank, definitely get yourself a set of these Mazda Speed ones. And the best place to go and get any Miata parts is Treasure Coast Miata. Definitely hit them up if ever you need any parts for any model Miata, no matter where you are in the world, they ship internationally. So all that aside, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I certainly did. I'm really excited to film this thing. I wish we could take it out for a test drive and do like a zero to 60 and whatnot. But obviously, as you know, no clutch. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I don't feel like just driving around and starting this thing in first and risking it. Plus, well, I've got to start pulling things down for some other things. We've got to fix some oil leaks and stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button, write us a comment, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's one. Peace out. Jamata.